Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Me Bellfire, and today we're back back in Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. And as you can see, I'm not doing a campaign mission, I'm doing an assassination mission real quickly because I need some funds. And also, I broke my UACs. Both of them, also, so that's amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully save up enough money to possibly buy... Oh, cool. To hopefully be able to buy two high-tier UACs. Now, where is this little thing? Ah, there you are. Oh, I see how to do it now. Okay. So the trick is to break the armor with the UAC and then use the other weapons to destroy the part. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that's the way to do it. I just thought of something that would be real nasty. A annihilator, but all energy weapons. That would be nasty. Dear Lord, yeah, that would be... That would be a pain to fight. Okay. Well, hey, here we go. After this, I should have enough money to uh, move on to the next to the next mission. Okay. Can I walk through this? Yes. Because with being an assault mech, I'm very slow. So the more stuff I can just um, bulldoze through, the better. Because that just saves on time. And yes, I know that's not a real mech. Or an enemy mech, I should say. Whoops. A hunchback. Okay. Oh. That one. Uh, 
Ow. Okay, where is it? Of course. A flea and what else? Fire starter. From what? The flea? No, from that thing. Yeah, that thing. There we go, so they'll actually start running towards me. And not fight every single thing they see. Okay. Not bad, they both look alright. Oh. Oh, there was a hidden object? Oh well. Well, there we go. Uh, cicada, I guess. Sure. And then that. Ah. Okay. So now... Star map. I want to head over here because I'm going to make stops to check everything. I'm going to make stops to check everything so I can see if there are UACs because, as I said before, I need some UACs. Of course, nothing. So I'll go here. Actually, I'll go here, then there, then there, then there. And we'll see what they have. Hopefully it's something good. I really hope it's a UAC. Even two. Cataphrac. Well... You're two million. You're worth 500. Um, and the assassin. Equipment, anything good? Okay. Hopefully they have a good, a good mech. That's what I'm looking for right now. Fingers crossed. A trebuchet. Nope, not what I need. And yes, I know. I already have two UACs. No, four UACs. I'm making a stockpile. Because if I don't, both arms and the chest will get blown up again, and I will lose 
everything again. Okay, equipment. So anything of interest to me? A PPC. Anything else? Oh, that's one other thing I forgot. Okay, and then one more stop. And after this, it's straight north. Uh, straight up. Yeah, no, yeah, north. Really? Well, I did get my... Okay, here. I'll head over here. See if anything's over there. And if there is, say, a rare mech... I will see what mech it is, and then I might buy it. Two rare mechs. Okay. Well, let's see. An, ooh, an awesome. Or these other two. And if need be, I'll do another mission to get more uh, money. Because I do want to have mostly assault mechs in my... A stalker. The extremely long-range mech. That's right. I want mostly long-range mechs in my lance. That's what I was trying to say. Or assault mechs, not long-range. Okay. A Zeus. Mm. No, thank you. Okay, there's one more place I can check, which is up here. And if there is anything, I hope I have a way to get enough money. Okay. <gasps> oh my lord, this is exactly what I was talking about. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, well. First, before I forget. Loadout. Details. Get rid of those two machine guns. Machine guns. And equip these... Those two, get rid of that one, equip that one. Yes. Then get rid of machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun. Um, hmm. And machine gun. Okay. Then what I think I did was a half ammo, which is 0.5 ton. No, I I need another heat sink. Strip armor, max armor. And okay. Yeah, only minus two armor, that's fine. And four hundred and fifty thousand. Not four hundred and fifty. Four thousand five hundred. Okay. Now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to cover the cost for this uh, UAC. Or this, not UAC. Because that's not UAC. This, um... Annihilator. I 
I will keep that because of energy weapons. And I need to fully equip the Annihilator. So I need just over 10 mil. I mean, to be fair, I don't really use missiles. PPCs I'm keeping. I don't really need any missiles whatsoever. UAC-10. Autocannon. Bow. Mech market. Awesome. Dang it. Well, okay, here, let me think. Who... The Marauder. And yes, I know it's a 25% markup, but... Before I forget you... Paint looks decent, but... You're the third pilot. All right, so that's about what I expected. Completely full of heat sinks. That's honestly exactly what I thought. So, okay. Larger laser, right? So, a large pulse laser is 7 tons, whereas a PPC is 7 tons. I see. Where, whereas a regular large laser is 5. So, I will... You are 13 damage, you are 10.5. Okay. Then... Because the reason I'm equipping it with large lasers instead of the PPCs is um, more damage output. Not more damage output. It's lighter so I can give more armor. And that's two tons, whereas this is one, so I will do a medium laser. Well, here. Ah. Is this worth it? One ton. I've increased the max range. I truly want to give this a test drive. Now. And there we go. 84,000 for all that. That's not bad at all. <laughs> okay, this should help. If this is another awesome, I'm going to be incredibly happy and also incredibly upset. Because I don't have the money to buy another... I said awesome. Annihilator. I don't have the money to buy another Annihilator. 
Okay, it's a night star. What the heck is this? Excuse me, what? You're an assault mech? Worth 27 million? Why? Why are you worth so much? Your equipment? Uh... Oh, this is the Marauder's big brother. I see. And naturally, it can't punch. Uh, we're being specifically targeted by Mars troops. Eight months after the SLDF commissioned this heavy support and command mech, the first Night Stars were put into production. Uh, in 2767, following Kurnensky's exodus, it became an early casualty of the first succession war with both of its production facilities being destroyed in 2786 a pair of Gauss rifles supplemented with an ERPPC gave it unprecedented unprecedented long range capabilities okay neat I would definitely buy it of course, and they have a Goss for sale. A high-tier Goss at that. Anything else I should be worried about? Two low-tier PPs. So you have... Two thousand. Sure. Oh. All right. Let me see if I can quickly scrounge together enough money to fix my current problem. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Whoop. Ninety difficulty. Okay, so I can go f go full C bill or full salvage. I'm going full salvage. And please, you have the king crab, and you have your awesome annihilator. Not awesome. And I dropped. Okay, there we go. And of course, you get. Yes, that's right. Oh, wow. I'm exactly on the weight. So you weigh a hundred, you... Well, no wonder why. Each one of these mechs weighs a hundred. But only two of them are really good. I mean, they all are probably really good when they have proper weapons and equipment, but... Yeah, they all are probably really good when they all have proper weapons and equipment, but only two of them have that right now. <laughs> okay, hang on. That looks amazing. I really want to try out the full energy weapons, though. And that is water. All right.
Okay, I... I already know the title of this video. Oh, wait, they aren't... Eh, yeah, no, I have a different name for this. If it... If they were uh, two awesomes, then I won't say anything, but if it was two awesomes, then I have an idea for a name or a title for this video, but it's not. They're not awesomes. They're annihilators. I really want to see you fight because... You have like in a thousand meter range or something like that? Or over that, maybe? Well, here, how do I want... No, yeah, I want to go this way. You're going to struggle to keep up. Well, no, not keep up, but catch up if you fall behind. I guess that's the only problem with having the same mech and a impatient commander. Feels so good to have the right weapons back. Enemy vehicle in the area. And you are firing. Well, this should definitely be fun. The fact that this works so well is uh, very nice. And I mean, I cool down fairly quick, all things considered. So we have an Atlas, a King Crab, and then two Annihilators. I'm pretty sure Freeman can hit it from here. We have your targets, Commander. Well, that was the Atlas. Oh, there are mechs in that base. Okay. Oh, there are a lot of mechs in that base. Okay. Of course there's an awesome. Oh, down. Yes.
and there goes my right arm. I'm just going to walk through this wall right here. Oh, that's a solid building. Got it. I trust them. Get over here. Oh, everyone's getting a little bit beat up now. Come on, two percent left. Raising an entire installation to the ground to let your enemy know you mean business. Nice work. You know the drill. Head to the extraction point. I'm on my way. The fact that you're not damaged is mildly upsetting. Okay, well. I will say this, I'm pretty sure we annihilated the competition. And that is all I will say. Well, I will say one other thing. This will be a very expensive repair. Especially considering I lost um, a UAC. Or, I think I will lose a UAC. And there we go. Mission complete. But man, that was... That was amazing. I can only imagine what four of them will do. Oh, hey, an awesome. And a locust. Two million. D Auto cannon 20. Hang on. That's right. Well.
that's where I'm going to end the episode today. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share all that amazing stuff. And I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye, guys.